Welcome to my unboxing of the KB460 from Funk. This is a brand you haven't seen featured much on the channel, and the reason for that is that they just don't really have that many products up till now. So the MS3 is their gaming mouse that I really feel is quite optimal for people with larger hands, and both Diesel and B-Roll actually use them day to day at their editing stations. And this is the follow-up, the KB460. So first up inside, we find a product manual. Next inside, we find a couple of little, presumably, feet or something. We'll find out what those are for later. And we've also got some nice closed cell foam packing material on either side of what is a fairly sturdy feeling. Cherry MX Red backlit mechanical keyboard. Once we get the keyboard extracted from the box, we find a design that is actually kind of both subdued and striking looking. So the backplane itself has a matte soft touch feel that looks very professional and very clean. And then the keys themselves are individually LED backlit with red LEDs. And to augment the LED shine, there's actually a red layer underneath all of the keys that is easily visible when the keyboard is not powered on. See, there you see that, so that the LEDs shine off of that as well, making the lighting even more striking. The cable has the standard funk black and orange finish to it. It's actually quite a thin cable, which it makes sense because it terminates in a single connector on the other end. So it should be borne in mind that these two USB 2.0 ports are non-powered ports. So you won't be able to plug in like the most, you know, power hungry, like, you know, you know, a light and a fan that's for your desk or anything like that. It's meant to plug in your mouse and maybe a USB drive or something along those lines. The layout has nothing about it that I would complain about, which is a definite plus, because there's usually something for me to gripe about when it comes to keyboard layouts. Long shift keys, long backspace, long enter, media keys built in, as well as built in profile keys. So you can actually reprogram any of the keys on the keyboard and then switch between the profiles using F. 7 to F11 along with the function key. Next to the profile keys, there's also the funk mode key, which does a couple of things. So number one is that it illuminates the funk mode button. No, no, it does more than that, don't worry. It also disables the Windows key and allows all of these function keys to be accessed without holding function. So you can switch between profiles on the fly. It has built-in memory, so there's absolutely no driver installation required. And the keyboard also supports full N key rollover on its Cherry MX Red switches. Now, Cherry MX Red switches are one of those hotly debated items. Gamers will run around saying they're the best thing since sliced bread because they're extremely light, making them great for fast, repeated pressing, whereas typists will run around saying, well, no, I can't type on anything but blues, and anything but blues is terrible. You know what? There's probably a middle ground somewhere here, but there it is. It comes with Cherry MX Red switches, and given that it is a product that is marketed towards gamers, that makes a fair bit of sense. The last thing of note here is those little clips that I had in the box before. So those go down here, and then you actually clip the wrist rest onto them. That gives you a fair bit of flexibility in terms of the range of motion of your wrist rest, and a system that looks like it'll come off as opposed to breaking. This is something I'm happy to see included. I'm seeing more and more manufacturers just flat out cheap out and not include wrist rests, and Funk has gone and included a nice wide one that spans the entire width of the keyboard. Kudos to them for that. So if I had to summarize the KB460 in some way. The highest praise I can give it, I think, is that I have nothing to complain about. I'm personally not a huge fan of Cherry MX Red switches, so it's not really made for me personally, but other than that, there's nothing wrong with it. It's driverless, it has all the function keys that you might want, it's solidly built, no complaints. And when it comes to keyboards, if there's not something that's driving you crazy about it, it's probably just as well that it gets out of your way and you have nothing to complain about with it. Thank you for checking out my unboxing and overview of the Funk KB460. Don't forget to subscribe to Linus Tech Tips for more unboxings, reviews, and other computer videos. Like this video if you liked it, dislike it if you disliked it, and leave a comment if you have anything to say about squirrels.